Good evening, my good friends. Welcome back to the channel here on the 15th of September. The market has just closed. Not the futures, though. It still has 20 minutes to go. Uh, but we're going to look into commodities, the weekly close. I think some something short-term exciting stuff happened on gold and silver, maybe. Maybe not. But we still have a lot of uh, nothing that's done for, for the most part. And then I think, again, I have two interesting charts to show at the end of the, of the video. Uh, I showed it before last time, or two times, or was two times ago. I can't remember exactly. But anyways, let's get into the stuff here again. As always, follow me, like and subscribe, give me a comment. You know what to do. Let's blast this lid right open. Silver weekly closes are in almost. And the past two days were very good. I want to show you you the reversals on the daily. Actually, let me remove that. Beautiful bar over the, whoopsie, over there. And once again, this uptrend is holding for now, of course. But again, it is showing that there are bias at this green uptrend here. We are in this uptrend rail channel here, and um, and yeah, we uh, we did reverse quite big yesterday after the breakdown here so a false breakdown possibly and uh, and yeah hopefully this is the start of something more to come again the $26 level is just up here only here and that's the big one the long term golden trend line comes down here we are very close to something potentially insane or potentially we need a big D route before but the, this week's price action gives us some hope um, it really does. The shiny stuff, gold. Look at this one here. As you know, this is the only wedge that I'm looking at right now for gold. Everything else in the past, I'm not interested in. I know where we have been. And I know if we break this wedge to the upside, I know we are going with high probability for a retest of that all time high at 2070. Give or take. Uh, and we had this internal wedge here right there oh i'm just messing with it there it is <clears throat> that was an internal one hourly wedge right there you saw the false breakdown here on i think it was core pci data that came out yesterday and we snapped down back up again retesting and boom now here we are beautiful very short-term price action again this could be the precursor of that breakout here so getting above 1935 and preferably the high up here at around 1950 then i think we're on for that big big uh, big 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 test of all time high and you know fourth time is often where we punch through so uh, so yeah this is the only thing you should be looking at in my view right there and that has a bullish side to it for sure We looked at this chart here for a long time and this rally here i thought was a little hump like this you know when we, when we were here a little hump and then we broke down clearly that was not the case and we went all the way up tested the arc and now a bit of a retest now back above again and you can actually see the technicals testing the upper arc here again um so yeah this is obviously not a good thing for gold and silver that speaks to the downside actually um but let's see, you know, this move here, the past two candles, you can see this large screen here with the big at the top, wick at the top, and then a major red one here, closing be below the green body. Could be a, a a fake out or a reversal to the upside. Again, we have to wait and see until next week. Uh, yes, it's a boring answer, I know, but, uh, but this is definitely not what we were hoping for. Uh, we were hoping for a little bump here and then down we go. Let's see um, what happens here. Dixie, good old Dixie. That was a big breakout, as you know. Retest in this resumption. The Dixie, the dollar looks very, very strong. Um, if we were to look at the candlestick, last day's candlestick, very green here, a marginal higher high. And now we have a hanging man right here or a possibly bearish setup here if we can take out that body low at 104.7. Then we have a bearish reversal from a candlestick point of view. But for now, it's all very bullish, actually, for the mighty dollar. 
but I don't think it will last. But how long? We don't know. The US 10 year also looks scary to say the least. High over here at uh, 4.3, high over here. And now we are at that 4.3 to the tick actually. And uh, as you know, if we break out, we, we could easily go into the 5% um, um, rates quite easily. Um, but also, we are in this rising wedge, which usually resolves the downside. So maybe we get some pop above and then getting everyone long and then it breaks down. I don't know. But it does look very scary here for the yields, um, which is obviously not a good thing for anything really, gold and silver specifically. And uh, that's also why the dollar is so strong because you had this major rally here in the uh, in in the yields. So what's also strong is oil. Look at this one here. Just keeps ripping after we tested this golden rail right there. Just keeps ripping again. I thought it would go all the way down to uh, seventy five. It didn't. We only went down to seventy seven point five. And this rally here is just massively very very strong RSI. At around 80, very overboard again. Uh, pullbacks are coming in the very near term. Again, long term, it just looks insanely bullish. Energies looks really, really bullish. The perfect arc here. The inverted head and shoulders at the bottom, the neckline here. We are probably going to grind higher again into 2024. Um, and getting to the top of that bowl really at around, uh, maybe even as high as 120, but who knows. Um, the first big one is obviously the red resistance that is that comes up here at some point in time. Um, that's the one we need to take out. You can see it starts here from the highs back from 2022. Uh, so oil looks fantastically bullish. Uh, going to the weekly, again, we're not overbought at all. Uh, on a weekly basis, we just broke out and the 30 weekly moving average is just turning up. So very early in that move for oil. Fantastic. Look at this here. Palladium had a tiny peak above that long-term golden trend line, which we have been looking at right here. Again, it's really trying to decide it, its faith here. You know, getting above there, very bullish. Breaking down there, insanely bearish. Again, I really like this Elite Wave count here. It's perfectly uh, with the symmetry, and you have it within that falling wedge. I think we go to the upside. I know many are short palladium. I think they could be in for a huge surprise. And uh, yeah, we have that long-term long -term support here, here. We haven't reached it yet. You know, the 1150 is our, our last stance, uh, if we get there roughly, it's 1150. But again, intraday, you know, we could. That's, that's very tight, this one here. That's insanely tight. I'm excited to see what happens for palladium. I think it will surprise many. It is one of the most rarest metals in the world, uh, I think. Uh, it, it, is, it is like 10 or 20 times more rare than, than gold. So think about that for one second. Pla uh, this is platinum, good old platy. You can see here again that the roughly the $900 level is holding. And uh, I have a theory, as you know, this right here is now, let's, add, let's make a beautiful line instead of that very ugly looking drawing this one right here if we get above that now then we then there, there is no uh, no stopping us so getting above let's call it a round number a thousand to be precise 990 then platinum is off to the races um that's my take on platinum we are currently at 930 so only in quotes 60 70 dollars left before we complete this long-term bull flag here, in my view. If the $900 doesn't hold, then I think we could be in for a detour all the way down in this region at around eight, not 800, but 750 to 700, really. Um, so yeah, this is the only thing I'm focusing on right now for Platinum. How long time do we have until confirmation roughly? Uh, oh, Mid-October, then we should see if we can, if we are up here and we can snap through. Uh, but this is a great daily candle right here, negating a lot of the, you can see the bottom there, and there, and there. 
and we have negated it once once again. So, but let's see if uh, if it holds again. We didn't make a lower low, and we uh, even stayed above the left shoulder high over there. The possible, excuse me, left shoulder high we stayed above. So, uh, platinum here, I have a I have a good feeling. I really do. Copper, nothing has happened. We are still in that long term squeeze. I will not bore you with any talk here. We don't do anything right here. This is what we are waiting for. A move to the upside or the downside here. This is very tight, very coiled. The Bollinger Bands are very tight. The moving averages, if I were to add them, are just coiling up really here. So the which way we go will be with the vengeance, uh, I will have to, I will say. Good old nat gas here is not as strong as oil and uranium. And that gas is still holding on. Again, we need to take out the $3 level right here and negate, of obviously, this bear flag. Uh, it's not a bear flag. It's more of a bearish channel. Uh, maybe it's a bear flag. I don't know. What do you call this one here? Is it a bear flag or bearish channel? Let me know. You know what I mean. And then we have this long-term golden that, that we need to take out. So getting above that, that three and then later on the golden, then it's... Very bullish for nat gas. Very bullish, very spiky setup. Um, but again, we have to get there first. Looking at the, I will go to the Heiken Ashi at the European gas again. Nothing has happened really. 44, and then the, the extreme lower here at 24 is where we are bouncing right now. So we wait until we get above the 44. If you run a bit aggressive, you can do it at around 40. But, but yeah, that's really all there is to it. And uh, we might have a squeeze right there. You can see it. So maybe we have some more upside. Again, we're going into the winter in Europe. So why not? I mean, coal, that 2011 high is still holding, bouncing again beautifully. So you can see here, coal is bouncing up here. Natural gas really wants to, it looks like it wants to get about that $3 level here within a month maybe uranium is popping oil is looking fantastic energy is on the rise again and gold knows this gold knows that if energies really have a big run here then the cpi in 18 months time will be insanely high and gold will always front run that so remember gold always front runs the inflation uh, so when we have the inflation gold doesn't do as much and people are getting getting sick of gold but actually gold has already done it just uh, half a year one half, uh, yeah, 18 months earlier. So have a look at that. Energies looks fantastic here. Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Look at this here. This one was very terrifying. That breakdown there, I was like, oops, Bitcoin is done again. For some reason, it, it held above that 25, maybe it's there, 25.3K level. With a fake down or fake breakout to the downside, and then then we popped, and uh, and yeah, it, it's holding on. But again, I'm very bearish below here, and to, to get really bullish, I want to see. Let's make it golden, so it's more easy to, to become somewhat bullish. I want to get above that golden trend line here. There it is, all the way down. When we clear that, then we have some hope, and finally, that's the one to look for, the thirty. 1k dollar level for bitcoin then you have a lot of upside momentum and we should go all the way to 30 uh, to 42 actually um but yeah that, i really thought this was a, was the time to go down but uh, clearly it wasn't the case i will show you uranium futures look at this i think what we have accomplished this week or the past the past few weeks is the completion of the right shoulder. Again, I'm not quite sure, but I think this is our neckline. Let's make it blue and thick. There it is. To me, this is the neckline here. There it is, and the break. Um, you can see it right here. That is the break. Again, I would love your comments on this, um, but that's my take. That is my take. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And again, the measured moves are really, really high up there. So let me know if you agree on this uh, inverted head and shoulders 
confirmation that we had this week. I will listen to what you have to say uh, about this one. Again, I think we will get to like between the high here at uh, 73 uh, and all the way up to $80 this year. That's my prediction. That that was my prediction at the, at the start of the year, and I think we are very close to that. The Fukushima high, very important, very a very big psychological level, the Fukushima high. And that is where we're going now. That That is the path of least resistance. So uranium looks insanely strong, which I will do after this video. So check that one out for sure. Good old soybeans here. I haven't deleted the last lines. Again, zero has happened. This setup here is the same as this one. Last time we had a huge breakdown right there. And we basically, as you know, yeah, I'm not going to bore you. That's the one to look for. Head and shoulders, neckline, breakdown, bearish, taking out that golden, semi-bullish. Uh, we ob obviously have to take out the right shoulder high before we negate that overall bearish topping pattern right there. But the pressure is to the downside, 30 weekly coming down. So again, we have until, we have for, for the remaining of 2023, before this apex gets uh, gets closed. All right, sugar looks had a great week. Let's go to the daily. How to see? Yeah, we are maybe maybe getting a bit of a a bearish setup there on the short term. Makes total sense. Where are we? We are at the breakout or the triangle high here, and I would assume that we go down and then we pop again. But again, long term, silver looks. Absolutely fantastic. As you know, silver and uh, excuse me, sugar, sugar looks absolutely fantastic. And as you know, silver and sugar have a high correlation. So if silver is really popping it here, yes, silver will follow. Nickel, again, really trying to hang in there, uh, and we want to get back above the eighteen hundred dollar level. We want to get back above these lows here. Um, so right now we have a bearish view on nickel, and we get somewhat. A little bit bullish above that bottom here at around 1800. Again, very early um, for a nickel, but we could easily pop down all the way down here to like 1300 or so. And here they are, silver measured against the money supply, the M2 money supply. And that's why I think gold and silver is going to make some big moves in the very near future. Again, these are very hard to predict. But this is the long-term golden trend line from 2011. You can see it here, connecting beautifully, beautifully. Zooming in on the daily. I think I did this one two videos before. Anyways, I will do it again. This is the long-term. There it is. This is the shorter-term golden upper resistance. If we break that one here, we are only, let me measure for you guys, we are roughly 6 7% away from that breakout here. That's when gold will be popping. So we might see it here before we see the all-time high getting reached. So that's beautiful. Very bullish looking. Also, this is gold. This is gold. Again, I want to go to the weekly. You can see it here quite similarly. Yet again, a bit different. That's your golden trend line. A bit of a, oops, 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 oops. You can see here, just gonna align it for you guys. You can see here, testing the golden pullback, break out, breakthrough, right? Retest, and now we had a minor high, and then we just chopped back in. And you can see here how, you can see how important it is. If you really zoom in, it's actually very lovely to see that you have a trend line that is that has such a big uh, impact on the chart. You can see all the time, every time we get to that one, it's it has some sort of reaction to it. And we are in this blue squeeze right here. There it is for you guys. That's my take. That's the only thing I'm looking at when I'm looking at this ratio. And again, silver, how close are silver actually from breaking out? I will show you. Let's call let, let's take the previous high. We are rounding up two percent away from a major breakout on gold <clears throat> against the M2 money supply. Again, we cannot celebrate until we have finally 
have the confirmation. But it looks good. Uh, again, we, we can still go all the way down here and it will be perfectly fine. But we don't want to dip too much below that uh, that bullish triangle here. Okay. <clears throat> again, help me with this one here. Do you agree? The uranium futures that we have cleared the neckline for that formation here. Let, please let me know. I'm very curious to see. As always, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, like and, and subscribe. Um, and we will see you in the next one. I will do the uranium recap now. My voice is getting a bit sore. Doesn't matter. See you.